Changeling is a 2008 American mystery crime drama film directed and produced by Clint Eastwood, based on real life events. If you enjoy our videos, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel or leave your thoughts in the comments below. In 1928 Los Angeles, single mother Christine Collins returns home to discover that her nine-year-old son, Walter, is missing. The Reverend Gustav Briegleb publicizes Christine's plight and rails against the Los Angeles Police Department LAPD, for its incompetence, corruption and the extrajudicial punishment meted out by its gun squad, led by Chief James E. Davis. Several months after Walter's disappearance, the LAPD tells Christine that the boy has been found alive. Believing the positive publicity will negate recent criticism of the department, the LAPD organizes a public reunion. Although Walter claims he is Christine's son, she says he is not. Captain J.J. Jones, the head of the LAPD's juvenile division, insists the boy is Walter and pressures Christine into taking him home on a trial basis. After, Christine confronts Jones about physical discrepancies between Walter and her son, in particular, that her son was several inches taller and uncircumcised. Unconvinced by her statements, Captain Jones arranges for a medical doctor to visit her. The doctor tells Christine that Walter is three inches shorter than before his disappearance because trauma has shrunk his spine and that the man who took Walter must have had him circumcised. A newspaper prints a story implying that Christine is an unfit mother, Brigleb tells Christine it was planted by police to discredit her. Both Walter's teacher and his dentist give Christine signed letters asserting that Walter is an imposter. Christine tells her story to the press, as a result, Jones sends her to Los Angeles County Hospital's psychopathic ward. She befriends inmate Carol Dexter, who tells Christine she is one of several women who were sent there for challenging police authority. Dr. Steele diagnoses Christine as delusional and forces her to take mood-regulating pills. Steele says he will release Christine if she admits she was mistaken about Walter. She refuses. Detective Ibarra travels to a ranch in Wineville, Riverside County, to arrange the deportation of 15-year-old Sanford Clark to Canada. The boy's uncle named Gordon Stewart Northcutt has fled after a chance encounter with Ibarra, who mentions his business there as being a juvenile matter. Clark tells Ibarra that Northcutt forced him to help kidnap and murder 20 children and he identifies Walter as one of them. Jones tells Brigleb that Christine is in protective custody following a mental breakdown. Jones orders Clark's deportation, but Ibarra takes Clark to the murder site and tells him to dig where the bodies are buried. Clark hesitates, but he soon uncovers body parts. Brigleb secures Christine's release by showing Steele a newspaper story about the Wineville killings that names Walter as a possible victim. Under interrogation by Ibarra, Walter's imposter, whose real name is Arthur Hutchins, reveals that his motive was to secure transport to Los Angeles to see his favorite actor, Tom Mix, and says that the police told him to lie about being Christine's son. The police capture Northcote in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Meanwhile, Brigleb introduces Christine and her case to famed attorney SS. Han, who takes the case pro bono and quickly secures a court order for the release of other unjustly imprisoned women whom the police wanted to silence. On the day of the city council's hearing in the case, Christine, Han, and Brigleb arrive at Los Angeles City Hall, where they encounter thousands of protesters demanding answers from the city and decrying the LAPD. The hearing is intercut with saints from Northcote's trial. The council concludes that Jones and Davis should be removed from duty and that extrajudicial interments by police must be stopped. Northcote's jury finds him guilty of murder and the judge sentences him to death by hanging. In 1930, Christine still has not given up her search for Walter. Northcote sends her a message saying that he is willing to admit to killing Walter on the condition that Christine meet with him before his execution. She visits Northcote, but he refuses to tell her. Northcote is executed the next day. In 1935, David Clay, one of the boys assumed to have been killed, is found alive in Esperia, California. He reveals that one of the boys with whom he was imprisoned was Walter and that Walter, another boy, and he escaped, but were separated. David does not know whether Walter was recaptured, but he says that Walter helped him escape, giving Christine hope that he could still be alive. 
In the epilogue, we learn that Captain Jones was suspended, Chief Davis was demoted and Los Angeles Mayor George Cryer chose not to run for re-election. That California state legislature made it illegal to forcibly commit people to psychiatric facilities based solely on the word of authorities. That Reverend Breglib continued to use his radio show to expose police misconduct and political corruption. That Wineville is said to have changed its name to Miraloma to escape the stigma of the murders. And that Christine Collins reportedly never stopped searching for her son.